Okay, so now that we've looked at atomic size, we're going to look at how we can compare ionic size. So what you have to remember from National 5 is that ions are charged particles. So they, they have either lost or gained electrons. Um, so it's atoms that have lost or gained electrons to form a stable electron arrangement. So remember that just means that they've got a full outer shell of electrons like the noble gases. So if we take um, lithium, to start off with. So if we're comparing the size of a lithium atom with a lithium ion, so lithium's electron arrangement is 2, 1. Okay, and so for it to obtain a stable electron arrangement, it's going to have to lose an electron. So it becomes the electron arrangement 2, which is the same as helium, the noble gas. So because it's lost one electron, it then obtains a positive charge. Okay. So if we were going to compare the size of the lithium atom versus the lithium ion, okay, based on what we talked about when we were looking at atomic size, the things that make the difference are numbers of occupied energy levels or nuclear charge. Now they both have three protons, so they both have the exact same nuclear charge, so that's not going to make a difference. However, the lithium atom has one more occupied energy level than the lithium ion because it's got the arrangement 2, 1, whereas the lithium ion only has the arrangement 2. So we can draw these to help make it more obvious. So this is the lithium atom and then the lithium ion is still 3 positive in the middle but it's only got the two electrons. Okay, so you can see from the picture it's really quickly and clearly that this, the lithium atom, is bigger than the lithium ion because it has one extra occupied electron shell. Okay, so now if we look at a non-metal atom, because um, if you remember from National 5, when metal atoms become ions, they always lose electrons to become stable. And when the non-metal atoms uh, become ions, they always gain electrons to become stable. So if we look at fluorine as an atom, it's got the arrangement 2, 7. Now to fill its outer shell, it needs to have 8. So that means it's going to gain an electron. So the fluorine ion would become 2, 8, which is the same electron arrangement as neon. Because it has gained one electron, it then obtains a negative charge. All right. So if we draw these, so they've both got 9 protons in the nucleus. So that's 9 plus in the middle. Right. And then the electron arrangement for the atom is 2, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then for the ion, it is 2, 8. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay, so if we are comparing the size, now remember the thing that affects the size is either the nuclear charge or the number of occupied electron shells. They have the exact same nuclear charge, so that's not making a difference. They also have two occupied energy levels, so there actually is no difference in size between the fluorine atom and the fluorine ion, really. There might be like a tiny difference potentially, but um, they're essentially the same size. So unlike with the metal ions, where when they go from being an atom to an ion, they lose a shell uh, and become smaller, with the non-metal atoms, they actually basically just stay the same size because they've got the same exact same nuclear charge and they've not got any additional occupied energy levels. Okay, so now we're going to look at this question here. Explain fully why a phosphorus ion is larger than a magnesium ion. So this is talking about the ions, not the atoms. Um, if it was talking about the atoms, the question would actually be the opposite way around. It would be asking why. The phosphorus atom is smaller than a magnesium atom. Um, but So it's important to look in the question to see what it's actually talking about. Is it talking about an atom or is it talking about an ion? So because it's talking about the ions, we need to work out what these exist as, as ions. So phosphorus um, has the electron arrangement. I'll give you a table here. Let's stick it in. Well, let's stay. Uh, so, phosphorus, phosphorus has atomic number 15, uh, and if you were to look up its electron arrangement, 
as an atom, uh, its electron arrangement is 2, 8, uh, 5. Okay. However, as an ion, it needs to have a stable electron arrangement, so it's going to need to fill that outer shell <coughs> to make it 8. So it becomes 2, 8, 8, which means it's gained 3 electrons, so it has a 3 negative charge. Okay. So then if we look at the magnesium, the magnesium's got atomic number 12, and its electron arrangement is 2, 8, 2. Now, to fill that outer shell it's currently occupying, it would need to gain six electrons. That involves more electrons than losing the two would, so it loses the, its two outer electrons to become two eight. So then, because it's lost two electrons, its charge becomes two positive. So, by working out what the, uh, sub, the elements exist as, as ions, we're basic, we've basically managed to show ourselves why this one is bigger than this one, all right? Um, so, and then in terms of writing your final explanation for this, the phosphorus ion is larger than the magnesium ion because it has um, one extra occupied energy level. You can also reason it the other way around and say that the magnesium ion is smaller than the phosphorus ion because it has one less occupied energy level. Okay, but it doesn't really matter. But the important bit is that you also write down this. Okay, writing the sentence on its own wouldn't really be enough to get you full marks because you're not fully explaining it. You need to show what the structures are of the two ions first.